हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आज की वीडियो उन सभी के लिए बहुत ही ज़्यादा यूज़फुल होने वाली है जो मैकेनिकल इंडस्ट्री या मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री से बिलोंग करते हैं चाहते थे तो आज की वीडियो एक चील है क्या और ये किस तरह से वर्क Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know that this video is for all of you on the popular demand that we want this video in English. We want this video in English because uh, uh, some people in India here, in living in south of India, uh, cannot understand that language. Uh, so to reach uh, to the wider uh, audience in India and uh, other countries as well. I'm here with this video. I know it was long due. I'm really sorry for that. And I know very very little content is there of uh, Winchill on uh, YouTube. So I hope this video is helpful for all of you. And uh, you can just click on the I button uh, flashing right above uh, to access all the Winchill playlist, which is already in English. Just one video of on my channel was in Hindi. And now, without further delay, let's start with the video. So, before understanding what is Vinci, let's understand what is a product development system. So, as you know that PLM stands for Product Life Cycle Management System, and we will understand much more in depth in the next slides what is PLM. Uh, currently, let's understand what is PDS, which is Product Development Systems. Uh, it is uh, Categorized in under PLM, there are three uh, software that are interlinked with each other, which are computer aided design like Creo, NX, Catia, SolidWorks, any of the CAD models, manufacturing execution system, which is uh, generally used for uh, production by production engineering, then ERP resource management, which is used uh, by various other departments, be it quality, be it production, be it manufacturing, uh, be it finance for uh, generating invoices for uh, store department and this is the generalized case for any industry apart from manufacturing also ERP management system is used in any of the industries so these all uh, CAD, MES and ERPs are uh, under the PLM and PLM manages all the data uh, under itself so now let's understand what is product lifecycle management system which is PLM so like human beings products also have a life cycle from birth to death human beings pass through various stages for example we uh, get a birth then we grow then uh, comes our maturity or teenage then uh, finally uh, we uh, mature enough and then uh, we get married then we uh, started declining and then ultimately it's death a similar life cycle is also seen in the case of products nothing is permanent in this life products as well as humans. So in industry, particularly product life cycle management is the process of managing the entire life cycle of a product, which itself its uh, definition says from inception through engineering design and manufacturing to service and disposal of manufactured products. PLM integrates people that is us, the data processes, business systems and provides a product information backbone for companies and their extended enterprise. So this is how uh, a human uh, life cycle goes through various stages and ultimately it's death. Similarly, the stages comes in the case of products as well. So in case of uh, products, first stage is the introductory stage in which uh, a particular company markets its product. Then it through it marketing, it sh shows the growth. Then finally, it gets very very mature and uh, it's purchased by the people and ultimately uh, at the maturity stage the sales are very high then it starts declining when the technology gets obsolete and other things gets involved evolved and this is how uh, finally ultimately end of the products uh, re a product reaches its end so we'll take an example of a car industry it can be valid for any of the uh, fmcg industries or pharmaceutical industry or any xyz industry so number one concept is the design firstly we uh, in uh, before like uh, we are in uh, 21st century 
right now previously all the designing were being done on the hand sketches uh, by all the engineers but uh, now fortunately we have the uh, very uh, useful tools like uh, cat softwares namely catia and nex creo or uh, solid works solid edge etc so first stage is the designing designers design the uh, product on those cat softwares then uh, second stage is the design first was the concept we initially get the concept that what uh, actually the concept is going to be so second stage is uh, design in which uh, from paper or from thought process it finally gets uh, transformed into the designing part then third stage is the prototype stage uh, so in which the uh, exact uh, design uh, is being prototyped that how it is going to look and in in case there are uh folds found out in the prototype version then we reaccess the design and change our design accordingly so generally in research and development prototype does take place but uh, since we are living in a very fast world this prototype uh, step is often uh, not followed or skip fourth stage is the testing stage in which the uh, concept design uh, is finally being listed for what various kind of tests are going to take place on the particular product it can vary accordingly uh, what kind of testing is needed for example in this a complete whole car is there and it has so many components so uh, each of the suppliers are going to uh, test their uh, products made on this uh, uh, cad uh, creos or other uh, softwares and then they have their in house uh, testing as well as there are some vehicle level validations as well to see how it is performing then on the pre production stage uh, almost uh, how the um, uh, product has been shortlisted gets uh, run through on the actual uh, road conditions then sixth stage is the final sop stage in which the uh, manufacturing of the uh, product gets started in full fledged line then uh, after the maturity and after people start purchasing after 10 years 15 years the product starts getting obsolete and it finally reaches its end of production stage and finally it is being scrapped and during after that stage is the service stage on which uh, a company generally ag agrees after 15 years uh, till 5 more years they are going to uh, give the service to the customers who are Uh, not able to purchase uh, new product uh, meanwhile at that time so they are going to give them also the service so this is how the entire uh, product life cycle goes through different stages just like our human stages from birth to uh, growth to maturity to death so now finally let's jump into our topic which is what is winchill so ptc winchill is a family of product life cycle management software that is offered by ptc it is used by manufacturing industries for their database management and sharing within the teams it is a web based software it is also used for creating managing and reusing product structures and its associated content such as cad files documentation manufacturing information service information part or supplier data calculations so its initial release was in 1998 yes uh, it's almost like now uh, 27 28 years now its stable release finally came into uh, 2022 uh, 12.1.2.0 there are various different modules uh, pdm link pmp link project link etc that are linked to this customers can vary from aerospace automotive electronics industrial medical devices retail footwear fmcg i mean everyone and all of us can use this in our uh, industry we have a particular business so now let's understand what are the winchill plm functions number first and foremost important is the cad data management via softwares like creo catia etc second is document management words excel pdf presentation text data images anything and everything can be uploaded release management product life cycle management how the uh, for example a designer creates a cad how it is going to pass through uh, an application engineer and then application engineer is going to review that then he is going to pass to his uh, another uh, higher authority for uh, review and uh, checking purpose that is how uh, after all the approval it gets released 
in the system with uh, going through all the departments and when they agree that yeah this design is okay to release and we can quality is going to uh, tell yes we can uh, maintain the quality under these dimensions which designer and application engineer has defined uh, manufacturing will also agree yeah we, we are uh, able to manage this on our production lines uh, all the departments have agreement and then finally the product is released change management which is ecr engineering change request ecn engineering change notice pr is problem report so e ecr ecn pr i have a separate video you can go into the uh, playlist it is in english yeah you'll be able to understand how to create an ecr create an ecn create a pr and what is it all about bomb management how the bomb is being managed in windshield then manufacturing process planning how the process can be planned via windshield how much a particular machine which is newly installed is going to give the output then supplier management all the suppliers can also be managed here M mostly uh, industry don't use this but uh, it is a very helpful as the name suggests all the supplier can also be managed uh, in windshield visualization creo view it's a free software uh, by ptc when we uh, purchase windshield so uh, generally designers have read and write access and other higher authorities as well who who are under the reviewer category so apart from that only read rights are there with quality manufacturing or other uh, people and everyone have the uh, login id and password they can just uh, search the part number which is a generally eight digit part number or according to the industry how it has customized its own software so people are going to search by adding a star mark and then they are going to get the product in which they can view the 3D model in the Creo view and uh, prepare markups in that. So that is how it works. So windchill PLM functions. So part data, as I told you, can be an eight digits as per industry, how it has customized its own windchill. And uh, it is finally a part data is linked with a CAD, which is a 3D model, a drawing, a PDF of that drawing or other documents of uh, like testing reports documents or apqp and then boom is there of the wind chill with material weight and quantity then test reports are there how the part has performed in the testing in its proto and production stages then it's all the standards related to that particular uh, section and the specifications that customer has defined so all of that data can be gathered under particular customer under particular project for example an audi project is there or a bmw project is there with the x project or y project and there is different part numbers for that so those can be easily accessed in windchill and managed easily rather than offline in which most of the data gets scattered and finally when customer comes and we don't have the data to show so we can just or in fact people leave the organization but windchill stays right so we always have a data on cloud network on the server and it is finally every time visible. In fact, people go or leave the organization, but data stays. So very, very important factor of having a wind chill. So wind chill, we have discussed a lot about what is this, that PLM. Now let's finally go and have a quick flashback on how the user interface looks like. So this is wind chill its logo here generally uh, company's logo uh, can be incorporated and it can be customized here is we can search the part number six digit eight digit or entering the name uh, we here it is selected document when we click on this uh, drop down menu we can select particularly cad or etc or all files also entire windchill is going to get a search and under this quick links we have a, a various uh, quick links we have created or uh, it is uh, by default also there uh, these are the updates uh, whether any task is assigned to us or not that is pending uh, here is the search or uh, browse uh, features then these are my tasks that we have completed or about to complete so th this is uh, how the wind chill looks like and in I have created a video specifically on getting started with wind chill uh, so you can get an in-depth knowledge on that uh, you can just access the whole playlist it's available for free and i hope uh, you like uh, this video and now there are no further complaints on that we want an english content or that i hope i was able to uh, impart my knowledge uh, whatever over the years i have accessed on uh, the uh, working in plm and thank you everyone uh, hope to see you soon in my future upcoming videos thank you bye bye